Last year, I made a video where I compared the world's most popular wireless headphones. I got a bunch of friends to come over. We all tried the headphones. Everyone had a different opinion, and my personal favorite were the very old Bose QC35 II headphones. I wanted to do round two of this video, but this time I wanted to expand the prices, getting cheaper and far more expensive headphones. For some reason, some of the headphones just never showed up. I don't know why, and I decided to scrap this entire video idea. But one pair of the really expensive headphones did show up. Up. These are the Focal Batiste headphones. I like to call them the baths. And right before I put these in the box to return them, I decided, you know what, let's just open them up. I wanna hear what I'm missing. What do $800 headphones actually sound like? I was shocked. This video is sponsored by Click-A-Snap, which is a brand new social media platform. It's one part Instagram, one part Shutterstock, and one part Google AdSense all wrapped into one. The most unique element of Click a Snap is that you get paid up to $9 for every 1,000 views your images get, which is honestly much more than we get paid on YouTube. And if you want, you can choose to sell your photos on the platform as well. Unlike every other social media platform with Click a Snap, you don't have to give up your image rights. You don't have to figure out how to game some algorithm and there's no data harvesting or selling to third party entities. If you're a photographer looking for a new way to display your work while also making money, join Click a Snap in the link below. Now the build quality of these headphones is okay. The outside looks like metal, but I'm almost sure this is plastic. Comfort is okay, but definitely not nearly as comfortable as Bose headphones. My ears do touch on the inside and then these are obviously much larger than other headphones as well. Now, the second I turn these on, something sounded strange. Most headphones have some sort of chime to let you know that they're turning on or off. These are no different. However, the audio file on these headphones sounds horrible. It sounds like the lowest bitrate sound ever. I don't understand how this is real. It's like sound quality out of a VHS movie or something. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. It sounds horrible. It's just very low bit rate, but that's fine. It's just a chime. It's not a big deal. I'm sure these headphones are going to sound great with my music. But to my surprise, as I started listening to songs that I'm very familiar with, everything just sounded very dull to me. Now, I've never claimed to be an audiophile. I'm sure I don't have a great memory of exactly what headphones sounded like that I tested out a year ago but I can easily test headphones side by side and tell you which ones I prefer. My current favorite headphones of all time are the brand new Bose QuietComfort headphones. These by no means are the world's best sounding headphones, but for me personally, they are the complete package. Sound quality is great, noise cancellation might be the best in the world, comfort is off the charts, and I just love the simplicity of the button layout. When I listen to both of these headphones side by side, there is no comparison. I definitely prefer the sound quality of the Bose. Now, I was totally confused by this because the only reason I purchased these headphones is because they are so highly reviewed. Almost every review on Amazon talks about how incredible they are and compares them side by side with other headphones. I then started looking up video reviews to see if I could find somebody who also doesn't really like the sound of these headphones. I couldn't find it. Every review I could find talked about how amazing these headphones were. So then I started thinking, well, maybe there's something wrong with my ears, or maybe I just have a, a poor opinion of what high quality sound is. I need to get some more opinions on this. I asked my wife to come in here and test both headphones. I prefer the Bose. Mm -hmm. I got my business partner, Patrick, to come in here and test them out. He used to be a professional musician. To me, these sound the best. Later that night, I took both of these headphones to my jujitsu class, and after class, I got three of my buddies to test them out. One of my buddies chose the Bose, two actually preferred the Focal, but when I pressed them on why they prefer the sound of the Focals, they said strange things like, So I'm picking this one, just because on higher volume, it sounds better. I ended up doing that test right there. I put them both at full volume. I would never listen to music like that. I still preferred the sound out of the Bose. The bottom line is that the majority of people who tried both of these headphones preferred the sound quality out of the Bose, and Bose is notoriously bad sound quality in the audiophile world. And then the two people who did prefer the Focals didn't really feel strongly about it. And then when I revealed the price of both of these headphones, every single person was like, oh, then I would definitely buy the Bose. And here's the other issue. 
These Bose headphones sound the exact same as the older Bose QC35Twos, and you can literally buy those headphones right now on eBay for $100 brand new. So this sounds crazy, but basically $100 headphones sound better than these $800 headphones to me personally and the majority of people tested. So I'm sure there's many of you out there like me who enjoy wireless headphones and you've always been curious, what am I missing out on by not spending 800 or $1,000 on luxury wireless headphones? The answer is you're not missing out on anything. In fact, I think you might be getting a much better pair for a lot cheaper. Are you a photographer? We have a photography contest going on right now for landscape photography. It's 100% free to join. You can check it out at fstoppers.com slash contest. We're gonna be giving away $1,000 cash to the grand prize winner, as well as 20 of our tutorials from the F Stoppers store. Check it out right now. Like I said, it's totally for free.